Right. So that's and then my next question I want to get to is you've got a lot of kids that potentially want to go D1 as a walk-on, right? Yep. And, and you live that life. Tell me about your experience being a walk-on at Tulane. Yeah, it was, it was um, aside from going to Northfield uh, and learning under that space, it was the second best experience I had um, because I went to college as a scholarship baseball player, started as a freshman. And so you have that uh, view of yourself um, and then you go and, and you, you become a walk on um, and it takes uh it takes incredible humility. Um, and I had to learn the humility. I didn't, I didn't have it initially. I'm grateful that I was willing to, to go through that and, and learn it. Um, because your role is to serve your, your teammates, like that is your job. So it took me a, a few months to really, really buy in, but then, uh, I loved it. Uh, I decided to be the best that I could be at my job. I was going to know the scouting report better than anybody. Um, I was going to push them really hard in practice, but, and I was going to do it for them, not for me. Um, I was going to, you know, listen to my coaches. I was going to help in, in any way possible. Um, and that taught me, you know, a lot more for, for life than anything. So I'm, I'm super grateful for it, but it's not easy. There are a lot of people who it's not the right fit for, for sure. It takes a, you got to know what you're getting into.